The National Guard of Ukraine, Ukrainian, Nacionalna Gvardia Ukraini Nacionalna Vardia Ukraini or NGU is the Ukrainian National Gendarmerie. It is part of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. It was originally created as an agency under the direct control of the Ukrainian Parliament on the 4th of November 1991, following Ukrainian independence. It was later disbanded and merged into the internal troops of Ukraine on the 11th of January 2000 by then President Leonid Kuchma as part of a cost saving scheme. Following the early 2014 Ukrainian Revolution on the 13th of March 2014, amidst the Russian intervention, the National Guard was re-established and the internal troops were disbanded during the ongoing war in the Donbas region of Ukraine. The forces of the revived National Guard have fought against pro-Russian separatists and Russian troops disguised as separatists. Due to lack of reserves, earlier in the conflict Azov and Donbass battalions were the largest volunteer units by far with a strength of 1,900 soldiers respectively plus an extensive civilian support network that reinforced the National Guard. History The National Guard was recreated in accordance with the law of Ukraine. On the National Guard of Ukraine, Law Number no. 4393, dated the 12th of March 2014, the draft legislation being originally introduced to the Ukrainian Parliament on the 11th of March. A previous attempt by then President Yushchenko to bring back the National Guard during civil unrest in 2008 had been blocked in the Rada. It was finally re-established in March 2014 after the beginning of the Crimean crisis. The NSU was originally created by the Law of Ukraine. On the National Guard of Ukraine, dated the 4th of November 1991, 1775 XII, dissolved by the Law of Ukraine, on amendments and additions to certain legislative acts of Ukraine, dated the 11th of January 2000. During its early existence, the National Guard was indirectly involved in the Transnistrian conflict during the spring summer of 1992, helping to defend the border against a threatened spillover of the conflict into Ukraine. Formations involved were the 3rd, 4th and 5th Divisions NSU equipment transferred from the 93rd Motorized Rifle Division was also used in this deployment. Afterwards, up until 1998, National Guard units backed up the border guards in anti-smuggling operations conducted on the border with Moldova and Moldova's breakaway Transnistria region. Badge of the NGU 1991–2000 Topic: <reformation>, Reformation In 2014, amidst Russian intervention to Crimea, the reformed force was created partially on the basis of the internal troops of Ukraine, with plans for militias and armed wings from certain of Ukraine's political parties and organizations, including the Euromaidan movement, to be also incorporated into it. However those plans have run into resistance from at least some of the latter, who do not wish to give up their weapons or otherwise subordinate themselves to government control. Direct recruitment from military academies is also intended. On 16 March, the Yatsenyuk government announced plans for the recruitment of 10,000 people within the next 15 days for the National Guard. Individual volunteers are also being accepted. The 2014 law provides for an initial authorized strength of 33,000 personnel. It also tasks the National Guard with maintaining public order, protecting sites like nuclear power plants and upholding the constitutional order and restoring the activity of state bodies in part a reference to the situation in Crimea, as well as to the perceived Russian threat to Ukraine as a whole. In the eastern parts of the country in particular, not only will the National Guard reinforce regular military units defending against a feared Russian invasion, it will also be expected to uphold Part 1 of Art. 109 of the Criminal Code of Ukraine i.e. it is intended to act as a counterinsurgency force against fifth columnists and infiltrators. The National Guard will be receiving a large proportion of the money from the emergency budgetary reprogramming approved by Parliament for the funding of weapons procurement, equipment repair, and training said reprogramming is equivalent to $600 million in 2014 dollars. It is hoped that, eventually, the strength of the National Guard will rise to 60,000 personnel. 
The pay for National Guard regulars is approximately €214 Euros a month, equivalent to an average Ukrainian's monthly income. Officers receive about twice that amount. There are also some attached internal troops personnel, mostly for training and or logistical support purposes, e.g. K-9 teams that have been taking part in training and demonstration sessions. Three National Guardsmen died in a deadly riot on 31 August 2015 at the Verhovna Rada when a policeman on leave threw a grenade outside the facade. According to official figures, by mid April 2016, the Interior Ministry and the National Guard have lost 308 personnel since the war in Donbass broke out, including 108 from the National Guard's volunteer battalions. National Guard structure As of 2017 the National Guard is divided in five operational territorial commands Western Operational Territorial Command Northern Operational Territorial Command Central Operational Territorial Command Eastern Operational Territorial Command Southern Operational Territorial Command A Sixth Operational Territorial Command for Crimea has been organized only on paper until the peninsula is returned by Russia to Ukraine currently the Crimean units are under the National Guard of Russia. There are various types of units in the National Guard. Operational units are military trained and equipped combat forces. Public security protection and patrol units fulfill police functions. Transport units guard troop and prisoner convoys. Important state facilities protection units guard Ukrainian state enterprises involved in missile industry, and Ukraine's nuclear industry. Independent National Guard units contain a mix of operational, patrol and transport units in case that martial law would be declared all National Guard units, with the exception of transport units, would come under the command of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine as auxiliary to the armed forces proper. Topic directly subordinated units General Directorate of the National Guard of Ukraine, Kiev National Guard Headquarters Protection and Support Battalion, Kiev Joint Communication Center, Novi Petrovt C 4th Operational Brigade, Hostomel 1st Operational Battalion 2nd Operational Battalion 3rd Operational Battalion Tank Battalion Artillery Battalion Anti-Aircraft Missile Battalion Support Units 22nd Diplomatic Missions and Consular Posts of Foreign States Protection Brigade, Kiev National Guard Air Base, Alexandria Headquarters and Headquarters Company Air Squadron, Giuliani Airport and 74 Helicopter Squadron, Alexandria Airfield Mi-8T, MSB-2 Technical and Operational Battalion Airfield Battalion 1st Important State Facilities Protection Regiment, Dnipro, Guarding Yuzhmash and Dnipro Machine Building Plant Regiment HQ 1st Infantry Battalion 2nd Infantry Battalion 3rd Infantry Battalion Unmanned Ground Vehicle Detachment CBRN Defense Detachment Detachment 2nd Important State Facilities Protection Regiment, Shostka, Guarding Shostka State Plant Impulse and Shostka State Plant Zerka, Regiment HQ 1st Infantry Battalion 2nd Infantry Battalion 3rd Infantry Battalion Unmanned Ground Vehicle Detachment CBRN Defense Detachment 4th Protection of Important State Facilities Protection Regiment, Pavlorad, Guarding Pavlorad Chemical Plant, Pavlorad Mechanical Plant and Kharkiv Institute of Physics and Technology Regiment HQ 1st Infantry Infantry Battalion 2nd Infantry Battalion 3rd Infantry Battalion Unmanned Ground Vehicle Detachment CBRN Defense Detachment 1st Important State Facilities Protection Battalion, Slavodik, Guarding the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant 2nd Important State Facilities Protection Battalion, Enerhodar, Guarding the Zaporizhia Nuclear Power Plant 3rd Important State Facilities Protection Battalion, Netishin, Guarding the Komelnitsky Nuclear Power Plant 4th Important State Facilities Protection Battalion, Yuzhnukrainsk, Guarding the South Ukraine Nuclear Power Plant 5th Important State Facilities Protection Battalion, Varash, guarding the Rivna Nuclear Power Plant Special Forces Detachment Scorpion, Kiev, guarding Ukraine's Nuclear Industry Special Forces Anti-Terrorism Detachment Omega, Novi Petrovt C Central Logistic Base Central Weapons and Ammunition Storage Base, Klementovo Central Fuel and Lubricant Supply Base, Zaporizhia Military Hospital, Zolichev National Guard Military Academy of Ukraine, Kharkiv National Guard Guard of Ukraine Training Center, Zolichev. Topic: Western Operational Territorial Command. 
The Western Operational Territorial Command, headquartered in Lviv, covers the oblasts of Lviv, Chernivtsi, Ivano-Frankivsk, Kamelnitsky, Rivna, Ternopil, Vinnytsia, Volyn and Zakarpattia. Western Operational Territorial Command, Lviv 2nd Independent National Guard Brigade, Halichina, Lviv 1st Infantry Battalion, Lviv 2nd Infantry Battalion, Ternopil 3rd Infantry Battalion, Rivna 4th Infantry Battalion, Ujorod Support Units, Lviv 8th Operational Regiment, Jaguar, Kalinivka 1st Operational Battalion 2nd Operational Battalion 3rd Operational Battalion 40th National Guard Regiment, Vinnytsia 45th Operational Regiment, Lviv 1st Operational Battalion 2nd Operational Battalion 3rd Operational Battalion 50th National Guard Regiment, Ivano-Frankivsk 3rd Patrol Company, Kalush 4th Operational Battalion, Kruk, Ivano-Frankivsk 5th Infantry Company, Chernivtsi Mountain Patrol Company 13th Independent National Guard Battalion, Kamelnitsky 32nd Separate National Guard Battalion, Lutsik Medical Company, Reserve, Special Forces Detachment, Vega, Lviv, Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Group, Training Center, Staryi Lysets, Training Battalion. Topic: Northern Operational Territorial Command. The Northern Operational Territorial Command, headquartered in Kiev, covers the city of Kiev and the oblasts of Kiev, Cherkasy, Chernihiv and Jytomyr. Northern Operational Territorial Command, Kiev 1st Operational Brigade, Vyshhorod Brigade HQ 1st Operational Battalion 2nd Operational Battalion 3rd Operational Battalion Tank Battalion Artillery Battalion Anti-Aircraft Missile Battalion Support Units 25th Public Security Protection Brigade, Kiev Brigade HQ NGU National Honor Guard Battalion, Kiev 1st Patrol Battalion, Kiev 2nd Patrol Battalion, Kiev 3rd Patrol Battalion, Kiev 4th Patrol Battalion, Kiev 5th Patrol Battalion, Kiev 27th Transport Brigade, Kiev 1st Operational Battalion, Kulkitsky, Kiev 1st Transport Battalion, Kiev 2nd Transport Battalion, Kiev 3rd Transport Battalion, Chernihiv 25th Separate National Guard Battalion, Cherkasy 75th Separate National Guard Battalion, Jytomyr Medical Company, Reserve Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Group Training Center, Staryi Training Battalion Central Operational Territorial Command The Central Operational Territorial Command, headquartered in Dnipro, covers the oblasts of Dnipropovosk, Kirovorad and Poltava. Central Operational Territorial Command, Dnipro 21st Public Order Protection Brigade, Krvi Rih 1st Patrol Battalion, Kropivnitsky 2nd Patrol Battalion, Krvi Rih 16th Public Order Protection Regiment, Dnipro 1st Patrol Battalion 2nd Patrol Battalion 3rd Patrol Battalion 12th Separate National Guard Battalion, Poltava 14th Transport Battalion, Dnipro 26th Independent National Guard Battalion, Kremenchug Medical Company Reserve Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Group Eastern Operational Territorial Command The Eastern Operational Territorial Command, headquartered in Kharkiv, covers the oblasts of Kharkiv, Donetsk, Luhansk and Sumy, and is the frontline command of National Guard forces forward deployed in the ongoing war in Donbass. Eastern Operational Territorial Command, Kharkiv 
3rd Operational Brigade, Kharkiv Brigade HQ 1st Operational Battalion 2nd Operational Battalion 3rd Operational Battalion Tank Battalion Artillery Battalion Anti-Aircraft Missile Battalion Support Units 5th Independent National Guard Brigade Slobozansky, Kharkiv Brigade HQ 1st Infantry Battalion 2nd Infantry Battalion 3rd Infantry Battalion 4th Infantry Battalion Support Units 15th Independent National Guard Regiment, Sloviansk 1st Infantry Battalion 18th Operational Regiment reinforced, Mariupol Regimental HQ 1st Patrol Battalion 2nd Special Purpose Battalion Donbass Mariupol Special Purpose Reinforced Battalion Azov Mariupol Special Patrol Company Mariupol Support Company 11th Independent National Guard Battalion Sumy Medical Company Reserve Special Forces Intelligence Detachment Ares Kharkiv Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Group Training Center Malinivka Training Battalion Topic Southern Operational Territorial Command The Southern Operational Territorial Command, headquartered in Odessa, covers the oblasts of Odessa, Kherson, Mykolaiv and Zaporizhia. Southern Operational Territorial Command, Odessa 23rd Public Order Protection Brigade, Zaporizhia 1st Patrol Battalion, Zaporizhia 2nd Patrol Battalion, Melitopol 3rd Patrol Battalion, Berdyansk 4th Patrol Battalion, Enerhodar 9th Operational Regiment, Jeopard, Zaporizhia 1st Operational Battalion 2nd Operational Battalion 3rd Operational Battalion 19th Public Order Protection Regiment, Mykolaiv 1st Patrol Battalion 2nd Patrol Battalion 3rd Patrol Battalion 49th Public Order Protection Regiment, Odessa 1st Patrol Battalion, Odessa 2nd Patrol Battalion, Bolharad 3rd Patrol Battalion, Ismail 4th Operational Battalion, Odessa 16th Independent National Guard Battalion, Kherson 19th Transport Battalion, Zaporizhia 34th Transport Battalion, Odessa Medical Company Reserve Special Forces Detachment, Odessa Odessa Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Group Topic: Historic structure At the end of 1992, six divisions were formed. First, Kiev Division, Kiev, Jydomir. Second, East Division, Kharkiv, Chuhuv, Luhansk. Third, South Division, Odessa, Kharkiv, Simferopol, Sevastopol, Mykolaiv, Kherson. Fourth, North Division, Donetsk, Dnipro, Mariupol, Pavlorad, Krivi Rih. 5th West Division, Lviv, Lutsik, Ivano-Frankivsk, Ternopil, Drohobych 6th Division, Chuhu formed from the 48th Motor Rifle Division and became the 92nd Mechanized Brigade in 1999 7th Crimean Division, Simferopol from 1996 formed from 126th Motor Rifle Division other elements included, at various times Academy of the Internal Troops School for Senior NCO, Kharkiv Training Brigade, Zolichev, Lviv Region Training Regiment, Donetsk Novorossiysk Kiev Separate Guards Regiment Presidential Guard Unit 22nd Separate Guards Brigade for the Protection of Foreign Embassies, Kiev Logistics Regiment, Kiev Aviation Management NSU Separate Tank Battalion 1st Division NSU PT-76 1st Tank Battalion Independent Tank Battalion T-64B Separate Reconnaissance Airborne Company, assigned to the 6th Division NSU Special Battalion Lavender 
Mountain Troops Reconnaissance Battalion Under the pre-2000 structure, the National Guard administratively came under the Ministry of Internal Affairs but operationally answered directly to the President of Ukraine, though prior to 1995 Parliament had some operational oversight. In the 2014 structure, it reports both administratively and operationally to the Minister of Internal Affairs, a position at present held by Arsen Avakov. In the old NSU, its overall commander was originally appointed by the Presidium of the Verkhovna Rada Ukrainian Parliament for five-year terms. His deputy commander was appointed to the post by the President of Ukraine upon a submission from the commander. However, in 1995 the system was changed so that both the commander and deputy commander would be appointed by the President. Also part of the NSU was the Military Council, which approved the personal staff of the President of Ukraine based on submissions from the commander, and the Department of National Guard, an administrative entity acting in accordance with the terms of reference approved by the President of Ukraine. This included the Guard's secondary disaster management role. Topic: 2014 organization and structure. As of late March 2014, it was still in flux. However, current developments suggest that the new National Guard will primarily be a light infantry force, heavily reliant on reserve units with a few mechanized and armor support elements. This is in contrast to the old National Guard, which was mostly a mechanized infantry force, albeit one that incorporated a number of specialized formations and units, along with organic armor, artillery and air support elements. The first of the new National Guard's regular battalions formally paraded on 6 April, after only three weeks of training. The unidentified battalion consists of 500 members of between 18 and 55 years of age, and it appears to be tasked as a rapid reaction force, using soft-skinned vehicles such as trucks for transport. The 4th Rapid Reaction Brigade was formed as part of the National Guard on 2 June 2015. The commander of the National Guard of Ukraine is appointed by the President since 25 December 2015. Up until then, the commander was appointed by the Verkhovna Rada Ukraine's parliament under a motion from the president. <laughs> Azov Battalion Named after the Sea of Azov the unit was created in Mariupol which is a major coastal city and operates as the capital of Donetsk Oblast due to the occupations of Donetsk by insurgents. The unit was one of the first battalions to form and begin to resist the rebels playing a large role in the defense of Mariupol. The battalion is mostly composed of Russian-speaking volunteers from eastern Ukraine and is headed by Andriy Beletsky. The unit is known for far-right agenda and has been reported as displaying Nazi symbols. The unit denies the allegation that they use Nazi symbols claiming that their logo is based on the coat of arms of Ukraine while elements of the national flag are also used. It was upgraded into a full regiment in 2015, and is the only one with foreign soldiers in their ranks. It is also the NG's only territorial defense regiment in service. <laughs> Donbass Battalion The most well-known and first volunteer battalion to form to resist Russian insurgents in the Donbass, often referred to as the Little Black Men as an analog to Crimea's Little Green Men. The unit was conceived and is headed by Seman Semenchenko, an ethnic Russian. It formed from local ethnic Russian volunteers of the Donbass region who disagreed with the separatist philosophy and wished to remain part of Ukraine but were dissatisfied with the inaction of Ukrainian government forces in the area. In effect it is an analog of the separatist-formed Vostok Battalion which formed from ethnic Russians fighting for separatism. Since its formation the unit became much more diverse accepting volunteers from all over Ukraine and foreign nations into their ranks, however ethnic Russians still make up the majority of the unit. The unit is one of the largest volunteer battalions in Ukraine with nearly 1,000 members and has participated in most major battles since the start of the war in Donbass. Despite being part of the Ministry of Internal Affairs National Guard unit, battalion had received funding from various donors. The unit also aided in the defense of Mariupol when Russian forces invaded through Novozovsk. The battalion sent several tank destroyers to slow the Russian advance. The offensive toward Mariupol was halted near Shirokine and Bazemen. 
The unit suffered heavy losses when Russia sent its regular forces into Ukraine in late August, encircling parts of Ukrainian forces by taking their flank as they were battling separatists. In September 2014, the unit was reorganized into a regiment, the bulk of which consisted of a 700 man battalion tactical group. The Ministry of Defense stated that the unit would be armed with tanks and armored personnel carriers. A Spetsnaz unit within the battalion was also formed. The unit has been re-designated as the 3rd Reserve Battalion of the National Guard of Ukraine after being integrated into regular forces, but the Spetsnaz company remained. Seman Semenchenko, the founder of the battalion, was elected to the Parliament of Ukraine in October 2014 as part of the Samopomich party. It is unclear what will happen to the unit or who will be the new commander with Semenchenko being elected. Commanders 1991–1995 Lieutenant General Volodymyr Kukarets 1995–1996 Lieutenant General Alexander Kuzmik 1996–1998 Lieutenant General Ihor Valkyiv 1998–2000 Lieutenant General Alexander Chapovsky 2000 to 2014 transferred to the internal troops 2014 lieutenant general stepan polterak 2014 2015 lieutenant general mikola balin from 2015 colonel general yuri alarov topic <laughs> training New recruits those not transferring in from the internal troops, ground forces or military academies will undergo an initial two-week compressed training course, covering a range of areas from firearms and unarmed combat, to map reading and communications. Those signing up to be full-time members of the Guard will receive at least an additional four weeks of training. For those part-time members who complete their two-week training and return to their communities to await call-up, the authorities appear to be planning to implement a variation of the March Battalion system, based where possible around existing civilian militias and armed groupings. Most of those use the Sotnia as their basic unit, as does the National Guard itself. In March 2015, the National Guard of Ukraine received training from the U.S. 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team. The training took place at the Yavoriv Training Center near the western Ukrainian city of Lviv. The 173rd Airborne Paratroopers trained the Ukrainians on how to better defend themselves against Russian and rebel artillery and rockets. Training also included securing roads, bridges, and other infrastructure and treating and evacuating casualties. Officers and NCOs of the NGU are trained under the aegis of the National Guard Military Academy of Ukraine. Topic. Ranks and insignia Officers Other ranks and NCOs Topic. Equipment Topic. See also Novi Petrovci – Location of one of the training bases for the National Guard Aid to the Civil Power Battalions of Territorial Defense in Ukraine <laughs> Notes